so you want to work with variables in PowerShell. That's cool. We can hook you up. Uh, variables, as most of us know, are pretty much like a box with a name on it that you can put stuff in, uh, in, in the same way that the internet is a series of tubes. So I have here some variables with nothing in them. These are my empty boxes. Variables in PowerShell start with a dollar sign. So if you see a dollar sign, you know that whatever's after it is a variable. Uh, and to put stuff in your variable, you need to set the values. So here's a commandlet that PowerShell has called set value, where you can give it a name, a value, and that will set your variable right there. And there's also some other um, properties if, if you want to go explore there and find out all the advanced things. Um, we're not going to go through that right now. So you can set your variable like that, or you can use the pretty classic method of just giving the assignment operator between the variable and the data. So I'm giving this variable a value of three. This one is a string value that says it's true. And this is a Boolean value of true. In PowerShell, there are uh, reserved variables like true and false. And these are actually um, objects that you can use to assign Boolean true or false values or use them to compare um, uh, evaluations. So if I come here and I go to true and I type get type because it's an object everything is pretty much an object you can do more with them so you'll see that it's a it's a boolean value um, and it's it's there you can't um, you know use that as a variable it's, it's set so we have uh, declaring variables as well with with types I have a string here, I'm giving it winter, I have an integer, I have that same boolean method, I'm giving this one false. Uh, I even have arrays, and there's even more than this, but I'm just going to go through these real quick. Uh, arrays uh, is a method to assign multiple items inside uh, variables. So um, let's go ahead and run this script, and, and you'll see that when we say write host and we provide a variable it'll output whatever's in that to the screen so i run the script and these are everything in my boxes that just got dumped out onto the screen uh, let's look at the array a little bit closer so things is what it's called uh, if you want to deal with a specific item in that array um, you can give it the brackets and provide the number of it. So the first item, it starts with zero, would be that. And if I want to get to the second item, so that's a simple way to work with it. And because everything is, is an object, you can do more stuff with it. So if I put it around parentheses, um, I'm, it's going to evaluate that I want that uh, second object and then I can go down further and get the length L-E-N-G-T-H and run that oh that didn't work why didn't that work maybe uh, you know why because there's nothing in three three is empty so I didn't even need the brackets there. But yeah, you see six. So that's how you can work with arrays. And that's just another type of variable. Uh, variables are really powerful in PowerShell. So those are just some examples. And I'll put up some other videos later uh, about working with variables. but. Uh, this is just basically a quick lesson on how to set them and that's it I'm gonna post this up to the github as well so if you want to play around with this it'll be there alright thanks for watching